Hello friends, welcome back. Suppose you are having your lunch or enjoying your colleague's birthday party in cafeteria and suddenly you get a call to execute your automation to check if customer application is working or not. Oops. You may have to stop your lunch at that birthday party and run to your machine to execute your blue prism automation. But what if you can do that from the cafeteria itself? Right? Here is the rescue. Download this app from Android Play Store called Execute Blue Prism Process or let me show you. Open play.google.com Play Store search for Blue Prism you will find only few applications Blue Prism and in the apps you will see this Prism icon along with an execute you can also search for execute blue prism process and you again will be able to find this application execute blue prism process by Sandeep just click on this click on install and you will have that application initially you have to do some settings and then you have the control on the move let me show you how you can do this after downloading you need to do some initial configuration make sure your blue prism and your android are on the same network this app calls your blue prism on http or https protocol on port 8181 the settings are all configurable if you in case your blue prism is configured differently then you can do the settings let me show you how you can do that if you are unsure with how your blue prism is configured then keep the settings as it is just mention your ip and your username password and do a test connection after downloading your blue prism you will be able to see this window here you, need, you can select whether it is http or https then you have to enter your server name or ip mine is 192.168.15 let me show you how you how i got this open command prompt and then ip config and this is 192.168.15 you can put your host name as well but in that case your host name should be reachable from your android device it is better you put your ip now you have to put your username, your password and the port. Port by default is 8181. You can let it be as it is. Do a test connection. It says connection success on given settings. Save settings to retain these values. After you do this, your test connection successful, then you should do the save settings. So that it is saved into this application database and every time you don't need to type in these information again and again after that once your connection is successful you just have to click on show available processes and here are all the processes you can see these are all blue prism processes that have been created into my blue prism you can see here into my these are all processes which you can see into blue prism itself now let us see what we can do with this process let us try to execute one process from this application let us click this hello android as soon as we click this it shows its name and its id you may ignore its, sesh, its process id this is an internal one but i have kept it for debugging purposes there are two buttons initiate and get, get status as soon as you will initiate it the process will execute into blue prism and if when you click get status you can keep on polling what is the status suppose you have a long running process you can just keep on pressing the get status and continuing with whatever you are doing far from your workstation let us try to initiate this and see if what happens on the prism. let us go to the control room and here in this area you can see the last one is completed now let me initiate this as soon as initiate you can see it starts executing 
and we in the app we go to session id and it got completed just got completed at 336 let us try to get the status I press the get status button and it says completed oh. you can go back or you can go home let us go home and okay let us try to execute something which fails and you will want to see how it looks like um let us say send email uh, this one fails and here on the blue prism just look at that how what happens let me initiate and on the blue prism you can see bp send email got initiated and got terminated as well let us see in the get state of what we get failed some session id cannot connect to server you must use configure first if i click on uh, double click on this uh, on this uh, process automation instance then i can see the last error i got was error cannot connect to server you must use configure first so remotely you can see the success you can see the failures and everything is happening remotely i hope you might have enjoyed it but this is not all there are some other things as well if you go to other sections i have just added show connections and show users in blue prism as a start if you like this i'll add more functionality to this application show connection is one which shows how many connections are existing to your blue prism it says outbound is disabled there are two inbound connection one is from localhost and one is from 192.168.12 this 192.168.12 is uh, android device id in my android let us verify whether this is my ip let me go to settings about phone status and you can see 182.168.12 so this is another connection with this app there is one more option that i have given where you, where you can see how many users have been created into blue prism i have clicked on show users in blue prism it shows admin user and an admin sandeep and undefined you can ignore the last undefined one and there are two users created into the blue prism admin and sandeep so friends this is all for this version i hope you will like this if you like this don't forget to like it into the app store as well and don't forget to like this video as well and this will motivate me to upgrade and add more functionality to this application thanks for watching and thanks for using this application